The Korean community is a vibrant and tight-knit community. Over 100,000 Australian residents identify themselves as Korean speakers. But it is believed that amongst these tens of thousands of people, around 60 to 80 are North Korean defectors. The Hermit Kingdom has been dictated by three generations of the Kim family. North Korea is often the subject of media and public intrigue, particularly over its human rights abuses. Ashley, who did not wish to be identified, escaped North Korea at the age of seven, with only her mother in the hope of finding a better life. In South Korea, North Korean defectors are automatically granted citizenship, and yet hundreds of defectors seek refugee status elsewhere, including in Australia. Dr. Kyung Da Tong from the Department of Social Inquiry at the University of Technology, Sydney, has led the charge with a detailed study into North Korean defectors in Australia. In particular, uh, North Korean defectors living in South Korea, they experienced discrimination, prejudice, and also, you know, as uh, Korean, South Korean people decide to migrate to another country like Australia because they want to pursue better lives. Yeah, I say the discrimination and also very limited uh, you know, opportunities such as employment and uh, education because of being a North Korean um, migrant or defector in South Korea and they have been like exper experiencing enormous difficulties. Dr. Leonid Petrov from the Australian National University's College of Asia and the Pacific is an expert on North Korea. South Korean society is very much divided in terms of uh, its attitude towards North Korea. There's a um, friendly party that who want to help North Korea and see North Korea as their, as their brothers. Uh, but there's also the group and pretty large significant group of people, particularly young people, uh, young South Koreans who don't want unification. For some defectors, going to South Korea isn't enough. They want to go further south and come to Australia. Some uh, actually think about going away from the Korean Peninsula whatsoever uh, because they understand that Korea is still uh, engulfed in a civil war and a major conflict which has been going on for the last 60 years and Australia provides them with uh, an alternative solution. We need to uh, you know, consider North Korean refugees, you know, give a special consideration to them compared to other refugee uh, group. Many North Korean defectors find comfort amongst Korean churches across Australia. But there is only so much community groups can do to help defectors like Ashley. They need emotional, social and legal support when they like seek asylum in Australia. But there is no informal and formal support in Australia. We need good understanding of North Korea other than exaggerated or open biased media, you know, coverage on North Korea. The New South Wales Parliamentary Secretary for Communities, Matt Keane, has certainly taken a step in the right direction. 
He recently held a public forum on the findings of the Commission into Human Rights Abuses in North Korea. Well, following Michael Kirby's report into human rights abuses in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, um, we were all shocked by the detail that was exposed, uh, by the level of abuses and human rights abuses that were going on in North Korea. Uh, so I wanted to host a forum to bring awareness to our community here in Hornsby about something that's happening not just to our friends in North Korea, but something happening in our region um, which runs counter to Australian values. So by raising awareness, by getting the community to stand up, to make it known to Australian politicians that what's going on in North Korea has no place on the world stage. The story of North Korean defectors isn't just a political story. It isn't just a story of war. It's a human story about the constant search for acceptance. Mm. Yeah, 일도 하게 될것 같고, 근데 그곳에서 살지는 잘 모르겠어요 지금. <laughs>